So hey guys, um, I just went to the Asian market and funny story is that uh, where I went was Ooh, how you doing ranch? And I actually bought all my groceries and they have a bakery there. Well the bakery, um, you have to buy the stuff separately, like you have to pay for the baked goods there separately. And so what I like to do is like I like to get all the groceries and before I go check out my whole line of defense is that if worst case scenario, if they find my car and they put it up, well at least I didn't have to pay for it and lose all those groceries and stuff like that and yeah. Well, the worst case scenario did happen today and I went to go buy some pastries and Lo and behold, I couldn't find my cart when I came back, so I had to like do express shopping. And some things I was just like, you know what, forget it. I'm not going to try to pick them back up again. But I did pick up everything again. I was going to be home like 45 minutes ago, but it's crazy. So yeah, so let's get this started. So I'm going to actually be showing you and putting these things up all the same time. So the bag that I showed you guys was these... Chinese long donuts or beignets or sometimes they're called Chinese crawlers. They look like this, um, like this in the picture. And what these are, are crawlers. And if you see right here, the people usually eat them with um, rice porridge or some people call it congee or Vietnamese is called jiao. And it's so good. It's like a fried bread. And um, at my house, we call them greasy bread because it's really greasy but it's so good and in over in Asia and like in China and Vietnam and places that eat this it is so cheap but I mean over here because the recipe is kind of proprietary and so it's kind of expensive but it's always good to have as a snack and since I only go to the Asian market like every other month it's kind of like a treat so I bought two of them I'm gonna go ahead and Put them in the freezer. Next thing I got was I got, I know it's like a grocery store haul. I got these kiwi mussels. Actually, they're just New Zealand green shell mussels. I always get the mussels that are in the shells. So I guess this was a better view. Looks like that. I usually bake them in the oven and I eat them Vietnamese style, which is basically Vietnamese style is you bake them in the oven and then you either eat them with like uh, fish sauce that has like garlic and chili peppers and a little bit of sugar and lime in it or you eat it with the lime and some salt and some pepper and it's super yummy it's like super yum so I got that as well next I got ooh, next I got these these are called shin ramyun and these are spicy instant noodles. These are made by Nongshim and these are so good. They usually come in like a cup or a bowl or like these packets. The packets are definitely the best value. These are definitely not cheap ramen noodles. They are so good and if you love like spicy type of ramen type thing, these, you have to try these. And this is a 20 pack and I think it was like on sale for $15. So it's definitely not like your 10 cents a pack type of ramen, but it is so, so yummy. So that's that. Next thing I got, ooh, was some soy milk. I love Asian soybean milk. Not silk, not whatever. But Asian soy milk, um, sometimes they call it Vietnamese style, sometimes they, it's just green, and I have to drink the green kind. I don't, I just think it just tastes better. And um, this is a half gallon, this is made here in Houston by a local soybean milk maker, I don't know. But definitely, oh I love it. And I don't know, I just feel, I just, they're like, they're, they put this thing, I forgot what it's called, if I remember it I'll, put the name of it down there but it's like Asian vanilla and it is so it just makes it more fragrant and I guess that's what makes it tastier and so I absolutely love it if you guys have never tried 
Asian soy milk. When you do, you'll be like, this silk stuff is psh, it's for the birds. You'll want to drink this stuff. Definitely, for sure. Okay, so, oh, so next, oh, oh, good dog. Yeah. So next thing, I didn't buy much, so I don't think like, oh my gosh, I bought a whole lot because I don't really cook Asian food, so I just buy like a lot of condiments and things that I do know how to deal with, is this sweet chili sauce, and it says it's for chicken, but we usually eat this with like egg rolls, you can marinate your chicken with it, if you like you're baking chicken, and it is so yummy, it's like a sweet, spicy sauce, it's not that spicy, and it has like a little bit of tang and kick, and a lot of people like, they like to dip their like fried spring rolls or their egg rolls in it, and it's super yummy, and so I got a bottle of this so we can marinate our chicken or glaze our chicken and eat our egg rolls with this if we feel like it if we don't feel like eating it with the fish sauce and and stuff to just simplify our eating um next i keep on saying next i got some cherries they were on sale and they make a great snack no biggie Ugh. Then I got this right here, which is a pork loaf, pork meat loaf, and it is like Vietnamese bologna, but it tastes so, so good. Like, this is ready to eat. It's, you just cut it up, and it's usually wrapped in like a banana leaf on the inside, and back in Vietnam, they like wrap this in all banana leaves, but um, because that's what they have, but to save money, because banana leaves are kind of expensive, they only wrap, like, what touches the meat in banana leaf, and then they wrap the rest of it in, like, foil, or in this case, they wrap this in plastic. This is usually the one that I buy, so, definitely yummy, and if you guys eat bun me, and you're wondering, like, what is that kind of, like, bologna consistency thingy is, it's this, and it's called, uh, yaloa. Or, and sometimes it's called jello. Just depends on who's labeling it. <coughs> then I bought just some low sodium soy sauce because we kind of ran out of soy sauce and I needed some. And it's like, I guess 40% less sodium? I don't know. But it's made by Lee Kum Kee and it's like, this is like a very famous. Asian sauce maker. Um, I remember just like when I was little, I used to watch like Yen Can Cook and they would like sponsor his show. So I was like, that's pretty cool. I buy that brand. <laughs> now, let's see here. Hey, Beth. Oh, for you guys, we got some more banana sauce. This is called, they call it banana sauce, but it's banana ketchup and this is the spicy version and my husband says you always have to buy the Jafran van and it is like ketchup but it has a little bit of a sweetness and in this case because it's hot it has a little bit of spiciness to it too so um yeah it's just very it's a little different from regular ketchup because regular ketchup has like that kick because it's you know those tomatoes so it's a little bit tangier and this because it has the banana in it it kind of tones it out a little bit and it's really different um you know to dip and you just eat it like regular ketchup anything that you usually would eat ketchup with um you just eat this you know and my husband grew up in a filipino household for a little while in his life so he was introduced to this is definitely a filipino thing so yeah next i got one of my favorite snacks I think I showed in my uh, Asian market haul like two years ago. It's Hello Panda and this is actually the chocolate biscuits with chocolate inside. Last time I got like the regular cookie with the chocolate inside but the last two times I've been getting this one and it's so yummy and I wish the packets were so much bigger and this is pretty pricey but since I only go like I said every other month it's worth me for me to get it even though it doesn't last that long there's only 10 individual packs but oh my goodness so yummy 
Then just a few more things. You're going to be like, what is that? This is fish balls. And you're going to be like, what is that? It's basically like ground fish meat made into a ball form, I guess you could say. <laughs> it's kind of like meatballs, but it's made out of fish. <laughs> and it's super, super yummy. Over in like China, Vietnam, places that have fish balls like this, they usually sell it out in vendors. They put it on a skewer and then you put like yummy dipping sauces and you just eat it. Um off the skewer and over here like you put it in hot pot and things like that and or soups or whatever and so this is like one of my childhood favorites so I decided to you know buy it this is the first time I actually bought it on my own without like my mom helping me so I'm excited about this just a few more things oh then I got oh then I got three cans of liver pate and you're gonna be like Ugh, really i bought a small one for just actually eating and spreading on like bread and crackers and then i bought two because there's this one kind of special meat vietnamese meat vietnamese meat pastry that i make that it calls for this and it gives like this you know special little oh sodium -ness to it or saltiness and yeah so it's readily available at the Asian markets, and so I got two of those, and they last a long time, so I'm not worried about that. And then last but not least, if you guys don't know, in, I think, February 10th, it's going to be Lunar New Year, or some people call it Chinese New Year, and I got um, Lucky Money envelopes. So I got all of these. I just could not figure out which ones I want, even though I already have some, so I'm going to go quickly through the designs that I have. So I have this cute one with a little surfer boy. Isn't that so cute? And then I have this girl, she's holding, I don't know, like a pouch full of money. I don't know. Then uh, another little girl going towards a pot of gold nuggets. They're so much cuter than when I was little. Then this, which I don't know what it says, but if you guys see, it has like these two little stones right there, and I thought it was so pretty. And they're all the same price, too. But I think the little kid ones are like, you get more because they're not as fancy. And then this, with the, I think it's a tiger. I don't know. It was super cute. And then this, which is more of the traditional where you, you know, the nut, gold nuggets and things like that. So yeah, I got... Six different designs super cute and what you do is that when you're older and I guess when my husband says when you're married you give these out as lucky money to the, the younger generation and so yeah that's my Asian market haul um, if you guys have any questions or have any suggestions that I should probably be getting at the Asian market leave them down below and I will catch you guys later bye Oh, yeah, and I forgot. These are the pastries that I got <laughs> that made me, like, lose my cart, but it was so, so worth it. So we have, like, a chocolate cream roll. This was called something Swiss pudding roll. And these are my favorite. These are custard buns, and then this is, they call it a cupcake, but it's really, like, a steamed fluffy pound cake. So good. And this is what I lost my cart to, but it's so worth it. So, yeah, just in case you're but like, didn't she mention she went to the bakery too? So, yeah, these are it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.